two million refugees from Ukraine across the border towards Slovakia and over 130,000 still lives in Slovakia. So we are now very close to a, a war conflict. Every minute somebody or every second is somebody killed on both sides of the conflict. Also women, children and so on. So peace negotiations are crucial. Peace in Ukraine can be negotiated only with the help of uh, such a big players in the world politics like India. It is impossible to have peace summits without one part of the conflict, that means without Russia. But I think India can play in these peace negotiations a very important role in the future. Slovakia is a neighbor of uh, Ukraine, where we have now uh, the war behind our eastern borders and uh, two million refugees from Ukraine cross the border towards Slovakia and over 130,000 still lives in Slovakia. So we are now very close to a, a war conflict. But from the beginning, Slovakia is an advocate of peace negotiations because we have to do our best to try to sit around the table and to start the peace negotiations and to stop the war and to stop the killing the people because otherwise, if we just continue to keep the war alive, and doesn't matter if it is Ukraine or, or in, in Israel or, or somewhere else, every minute somebody or every second is somebody killed on both sides of the conflict. Also women, children and so on. So peace negotiations are crucial. We don't have to speak about it. We have to start to also do something for it. That means as soon as possible to organize another peace meeting, uh, peace summit for Ukraine, peace summit for other parts of the world. I think that's the crucial and we leaders of the world, we should be able to, to, to find the solution how to stop immediately these conflicts and killing of innocent people. Sir, how does Slo Slovakia see its relationship with India evolving, especially in areas of mutual interest such as sustainable development, climate change and definitely Europe? Okay, I, I, I think uh, the, the relationship between Slovakia and India are really on a very positive level. There are no other open issues between other two countries. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, also at the economical uh, level there is a very good exchange between India and Slovakia. Many Slovak companies are now active in India and also India in Slovakia. So I hope uh, this relationship will flourish in the future. And I hope that uh, I will have the chance to meet uh, the Prime Minister of India in India or it would be warmly welcome also to visit Slovakia. So. Sir, our PM, India's PM, he went to Ukraine and he already said about that this is a high time to re, uh, need the uh, peace. Uh, every world leader should talk about this. Uh, what do you think? What, what is your I think the peace in uh, Ukraine can be negotiated only with the help of uh, such big players in the world politics like India, China, the United States and so on. But also what I have to say is that it is impossible to have peace summits without one part of the conflict, that means without Russia. But I think India can play in these peace negotiations a very important role in the future.